Welcome to Mac OS Tony. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a multi sound output on your Mac machine. Well, if you have a couple of paired headphones, you could just go for a splitter. But what if you have a Bluetooth, a couple of Bluetooth, or a Bluetooth and a a wired headset which you want to share with your friends or you could know two persons watching a movie at the same time okay so for this you need to follow the steps which I'm going to show you okay just plug in your wired headphones and connect your Bluetooth device to your Mac after that you need to go to an application uh, it's a default application in the Mac go to all applications other you should find the audio MIDI setup go to the application and now here press the plus icon on the bottom of the screen uh, go for create multi output device after that you should uh, the Mac will show you the list of the output devices here and then you select which ones do you want if you see a multiple or more than two it means uh, you have connected more and you can say you can you know select which you want to play and eliminate which you don't want okay after this you need to press the drift correction for both of them okay now please make sure that you see this finder symbol on the multi output tab if you don't see it don't worry go to the settings here and you need to check press play alerts and sound effects through this device once you press this it's done you will see the symbol here and after this there's a one last and final step to do go to system preferences and from there go to sound now the main part is you need to check uh, this in multi output device uh, it is type of aggregate device so this must be selected and after only after this you can in uh, you know get sound on both devices okay and after this if you don't want if you want to hear your you know the sound individually you can just you know deselect it you go go for you know headphone port or a default headphones after removing the headphones you, you won't see this option but if you still see it just come go to sound and select the output to a headphones or a default one okay that's it now enjoy a movie iTunes or whatever you like on the multiple devices if this video helped you let me know in the comment section below please like share and subscribe the video thumbs up if they helped you thank you see you bye bye